a long year. Our pre-season just seemed to go on and on and on because it was so long to been getting the pitch, but the work saw us through there because no one stopped, no one dropped or anything, especially in our semi-final, went to extra time. We had the legs and we were able to come again with the legs, so we're thankful for those horrible nights out in the road, but we got it done, yeah, so it's great to see. Do you think the semi-final going to extra time helped in today's match? Yeah, I think so. It gave us... The fight that we needed to come into this match, we knew that it wasn't going to be easy and we knew that um, we were able to put it up for as long as that, so we backed ourselves coming into this and knew we could put it out to the end, but yeah, it definitely helped. But it did turn out to be easy in the end, you know, after the first sort of quarter. Yeah, once we settled ourselves, we sort of knew the way we wanted to play and we got into our own groove, but to be fair to Comagies, they completely put it up just the whole way to the end, the couple of goals at the end and everything, but... Um, yeah, I think we were just just that one step in front from the start. Was it difficult to keep it going during the middle of the year there, you know, even after the playing season started, there were different percent that were oh, absolutely. Were four weeks were no game. Yeah, absolutely, and we had quite a few girls in the county squad, so without having them coming in to lead the squad, it was, it was difficult. We had such a gap between the league finish and this so to keep the momentum going was hard and it was just constant training and even now we're having to train under lights in the dark so it was difficult getting it going but it's worth it in the end for nights like this so we're really pleased. Okay and you finished with a uh, top score with two goals and four points then. <laughs> uh, your first goal made a difference. Yeah I think so. I think we started off a bit wobbly. I think the nerves and the occasion got to some of the girls so I think the first goal really settled people so it was good to get that on the board and then from then we just kicked on but yeah. It's great. Uh, I think you mentioned earlier on there just that you saw first hand the work that goes into the match. Yeah. Uh, tell us a wee bit about your dad. Yeah, my dad is the manager of the match he, of the team. He came in this season and when we needed him because we were without a management and he came in and completely settled us all down. He knows exactly what he's doing and the man's never in the house. He's either out refereeing, coaching, learning new things, taking our training session. So he's brilliant and we wouldn't be here without him. It probably helps that he refereed the other semi No, he re no, no, he refereed Comagee's junior game. Oh. He wouldn't have been allowed near the semi-final, <laughs> unfortunately. He, he does referee though. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's brilliant for it. He's refereeing flat out and the, I'm sure everyone's so grateful for it because it's so difficult to get officials, so he's always there to help out. Like There's no better man for it. He's Looking forward to Ulster. You have a break maybe a couple of weeks? Yeah, a couple of weeks, I think, uh, the 24th or so. You've but yeah. done a bit of homework already on it. Have, we didn't want to look too far ahead. We knew we had these weeks in between um, and we just wanted to get across the line here. Same way we did last week, we wanted to get across the line um, for a semi-final and then look to our final. So we'll, look, we'll now start to look into Ulster, but we wanted to get across here first and focus on one game at a time. You don't mind another three or four weeks in the rain? So well, I know it'll be worth it, but we'll probably complain at the same time, I'm sure. But yeah, no, we'll put the work in and hopefully we'll come out the other side doing well. Okay, thanks very much. Thanks very much, thank you. Bye.